great job, guys. You do an amazing, amazing job. And this man, you all know him when he used to train uh, Evander Holyfield. Um, he trained the greats. He trained the best of the best. And uh, he's a person who I really admire, um, obviously for his work ethic, for training the fighters, getting them in great shape, uh, really believing in the fighters that he trains, standing by them 100%. He's not just a trainer, but he's like a confidant. He's like a, he's a, he's like a friend, you know, to the fighters. So uh, I want to introduce to you right now to the podium to say a few words. Lara's trainer, Ronnie Shields. Ronnie. Thank you very much. First of all, I want to give God all the glory. Uh, without him, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, so much to say, but I know not a whole lot of time to do it. But I want to get off of this fight for one second. And I just want to thank Oscar De La Hoya for not only just being a fighter, but coming back into the sport. A lot of guys, they come into the sport, and when their career is over, they leave. But Oscar came back and started promoting fights, and now he's built a company that's the biggest company in boxing, and they put on the best fights, and I think all yeah. you guys know. Yeah. And also, it takes, it takes a lot for someone in this sport to be so high to say, you know what? I'm gonna come down here to San Antonio. I'm gonna team up with Leha and Batal, who just started their promotion of business, and grow something. And I think a lot of the big promoters need to take a look to see what Golden Boy is doing. And, you know, because you have to start from somewhere. And for Oscar to say, you know what, we're gonna team up with you guys and to put on the best show. And then they came here to San Antonio and they've been putting on some really good shows. I think everybody can attest to that. why we're here. We're here because two of the best fighters in the world decided to fight each other. This is what boxing is all about. Boxing needs this. Boxing is one of the best sports in the world. And I think everybody knows that. But everybody don't want to fight the best. But these two guys have stepped up to the podium and said, you know what? We're going to fight each other. You know, it takes time sometimes for two best fighters to get together. But eventually, they do. And when they do, it's a lot of fireworks. They say Las Vegas is the capital of boxing. I think it's San Antonio. I really think that this fight should have been here in San Antonio. You saw what Canelo and Austin Trump here. They did with 40,000 people here. You can't get that nowhere else. Nobody's doing that. San Antonio has the best fans in the world. A lot of people think I'm from San Antonio because I'm here so much. Because we do, we put a lot of fights on here. And, you know, I've trained Pernell Whitaker here for years. And I had an apartment here for like two years. So that's why everybody think I'm from here, but I am. This is my adopted hometown. But to get to this fight, Canelo Alvarez is one of the best 154 pounders in the world. Hell. You can't take that away from him. He gave Floyd Mayweather one of the best fights ever. And Florida even acknowledged himself that this guy, he's one of the best. And he know he's, a, he's the future of boxing. He really is. Because he's only 23 years old. But I got a couple twins that's coming up too now. Y'all know I'm the Charlo guys. They're coming up. When these guys are done, the, the Charlo twins are going to take over. But on my, on my left here, I've been training this guy since 2010. I made a deal to train this guy in a bar in Chicago, Illinois. And that's the truth. We never thought we'd get to this day, but we're here. And we're here because we worked hard, we fought hard, and we're a team. And that's who I want to thank right now. I want to thank all our team. Our team. The manager, Louis DeCoubers. The co-manager, Bob 